Welcome to the Progeny RX Medication Administration video series. My name is Hannah. I'm a nurse at VFP Pharmacy, a Progeny RX Pharmacy partner. This video will discuss the mixing and usage of Novorel powder for intramuscular injection. Novorel is a room temperature medication. It should be injected shortly re after reconstitution, but it can be stored in the refrigerator for up to 30 days. Prior to the use of mixing this medication, wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water and make sure you're using a nice clean surface. Alcohol wipe the tops of each vial. Using a 3 ml syringe with generally a 22 gauge 1 and a half inch needle, pull back the plunger to the prescribed amount, usually 1 ml. Place the needle through the center of the rubber stopper, inject the air, and then pull back the plunger to the 1 ml mark or the prescribed amount. You're then going to take that water, inject it into the powder, the Novorel powder medication. Inject the water slowly. It will dissolve almost instantly. A little swirl, but don't shake. Turn the vial upside down and pull the needle down so the very tip of the needle stays within the liquid. It's a very small amount of liquid. You're going to be gently pulling down on the plunger while at the same time backing the needle out of the vial so that it stays in the liquid the whole time. You'll cap this needle and remove and get another one and a half inch needle or prescribed size for intramuscular injection. Tap the needle. Press on the plunger until you see a droplet form at the tip. You're now ready for your intramuscular injection. Okay, lean over. You're going to put your pressure on the non-injection side leg, okay? Uh, wiggle your toes on the side that you're getting the injection, okay? That'll allow you to keep the muscles in the back side loose. This injection is done in the upper outer quadrant of the buttock area. Find your landmarks from the top of the hip bone and drop your thumb back and give a squeeze. Or you can spread the skin taut. For her, I'm going to squeeze. Alcohol wipe the area. Let it dry. A quick dart-like motion. You gently pull back on the plunger to check for any blood return. And gently press. You go straight out and have an alcohol wipe handy if any blood is seen. The Sharps container comes with a permanently sealable top. Open the lid. You don't have to recap the needle. Just drop the needle and syringe into the Sharps container. You can close the lid, but do not seal it until it's full. If you have any further questions regarding your medications or protocols, please call your doctor's office or the pharmacy where you received your medications.